welcome to Le Mans where the chase for the pole position pots up. Tonight Level 5 have two two-hour qualifying sessions out there on track and with 21 other cars to contend with it's going to be tight. Ken, there was a bit of a delay getting the car out for the first of the two-hour sessions tonight. Yeah. What was the problem? Uh, we had a gearbox issue as we started up to go out for this session. Uh, got it fixed. Took about 30 minutes to get it fixed. Uh, luckily, there was quite a bit of rain out there, so we wouldn't have gone out anyway. So we probably didn't miss much track time that we would have had. Uh, but you want to maximize everything here. It's so critical to get on track. We have Marino out right now on drying wet tires to try to get as much track time as we can and try to prove on the car. Is the objective just to push as hard as you can? Objective is to try to make the car as best we can for the race. So obviously it's practice qualifying now, but the end goal is to have the best race car we can, but also see if we can put a nice lap up for qualifying. So Marina, that was a bit of a stop-start session out there tonight. Obviously a bit of a delay getting out onto the track, but once you got out there, P1, so were you pretty satisfied with the balance that you found straight away? I think the car has much improved over last night. This is, a, I've spoke about it a few times, this is a new generation of Michelin tire. I'm not too happy with the balance we've got on the tire. The car itself, the level five guy's done a great job of uh, fixing the issues we had last night. Just can't wait to drive it in the dry and, and hopefully validate that it is where we think it is. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of complaining on the radio about the, the grip and they're saying, well, you're P1 by sort of a good bit. So I can't complain too much, but uh, we really, really getting hurt by all this rain and stop start sessions because we have, I can count on both hands the laps we've done on these dry tires. And again, we haven't used them before. So we're trying to learn all we can in the time we've got. Hopefully it's dry at the start of the next session, maybe go out and just put a baseline lap in on a set of newer tires because we haven't used new rubber yet. And it'd uh, be great to move the level five car up the grid a little bit. So the final qualifying practice session takes place here at Le Mans and at the moment the weather conditions are playing havoc so Level 5 have decided to stay in the garage for the moment. Now this is a two and a half hour session, if it clears up they'll be back on track. Ryan, it's been a quite an interesting qualifying session tonight, it hasn't quite gone the way everyone would have hoped. Um, how was your stint when you were out there? Yeah, when I went out this afternoon uh, or tonight um, the track was sort of wet in about uh, three corners. So I was out there on intermediate tyres um, and we were just sort of getting a feel for how that tyre would perform in the case of it being like that in the race, uh, which is very possible here. Um, and we were also just trying to do our part in drying the circuit, you know, because we wanted to try to uh, improve our time uh, in qualifying. But um, it was fun to get some more night laps out here. Every lap is a bonus for me and uh, the times are set and it's, it's time to go racing now. Well, it is a 24-hour race, as we know, and absolutely anything can happen, but what can you do from a P16 in class? Yeah, I mean, we're a lot better than we show on paper, for sure. We're, we're very confident of that. We just haven't had a smooth run through our qualifying and had the chance to show um, what we can do. Our qualified time is actually on fourth stint, old tyres and full tanks. So, long race. Um, we're just going to try to do the best we can, and uh, you know, a podium here would be amazing. Well, Jeff, here we are at the end of qualifying now, and it seems as if it's a pretty unrepresentative um, grid position for Level 5. Um, how do you view it? Uh, yeah, I thought I was going to have better news uh, after we talked last night, but um, we kind of ended up with a very similar kind of situation. Rain, dry, tire situation, trying to get the right tires on the car, then some red flags, and we never really got to run on new tires again, which is what we were hoping to try to do today. So... Um, you know, we're probably going to end up starting 100 yards behind where we normally would have started. And if we can't make that up in 24 hours, we don't deserve to win anyway. So, you know, we, uh, we would all like to see the actual performance and see the time on the board. But uh, we're out of that uh, opportunity now. So now we're just going to have to count on it and, and be confident that it's actually there.